Hello, boys and girls. This week we are reading the story called Jellies, The Life of a Jellyfish. And these are the vocabulary words in our text. The first word is millions. It looks like this shark has millions of teeth, but it really only has a few dozen. Number two is choices. Visitors at the aquarium have many choices of things to see. Number three is drift. This clever otter will not drift or float away. Number four is simple. Dolphins make jumping out of the ocean look simple and easy. Number five is weaker. One of these crab claws is weaker than the other. It is not very strong. Number six, wrapped. The octopus wrapped its strong tentacles around its prey. Number seven is disgusting. Yuck, the litter around the trash can smells disgusting. And number eight, decide. Is this a starfish or a crab? You decide. So this week our story is called Jellies, the Life of the Jellyfish. And this is an informational text. An informational text gives you um, real information about real topics. There are photos with captions and the details and the facts are uh, true and they provide information about the uh, subject in the story. The essential question is, what is special about animals that live in the ocean? And this is written by Twig C. George. If you were a jellyfish, you would have two choices, to go up or to go down. That's it, two. You would not have a brain, so you could not decide what to have for breakfast or where to go for lunch. This is a mangrove jellyfish. This is an unnamed jellyfish. The ocean currents would carry you along from place to place. In this way, you could travel hundreds of miles. Food might pass by you and get caught in your tentacles or not. Sea turtles, dolphins, and whale sharks would try to eat you. You wouldn't worry about it because you couldn't. You would just float on. And this is a rhizostone jellyfish. The next one is a comb jellyfish. You would protect yourself with millions of tiny mechanical cells that, when touched by another animal, release a chemical and sting, like a bow and arrow. You would not know if you were stinging a friend or an enemy. You would not even know what a friend or an enemy was. Jellyfish sting for protection and to catch food. That's all. They don't hunt and they can't chase. They just bump and sting, bump and sting. Little fish swim in and out of the dome of this moon jellyfish. Some jellyfish sting gently. Some jellyfish have a sting so powerful that they are more dangerous than a cobra. These are the Australian box jellies. Thimble jellyfish. Jellyfish are so simple that they look like plastic trash floating in the sea. When an animal eats a jellyfish, it stays healthy and strong. When an animal eats plastic, it gets weaker and weaker and eventually dies. This is an upside down jellyfish. Some jellyfish lie on the shallow bottom in clear, warm seas and grow their own food. These are called upside down jellyfish. Once they have eaten small bits of algae just once, they can grow more inside their bodies by sitting in the sun. They are their own greenhouses and grocery stores all wrapped up in one. Portuguese man of war. To be a jellyfish, you need to be shaped like a bell with at least one mouth and tentacles. Many animals called jellyfish are really something else. 
The Portuguese man of war is not a real jellyfish. It has an air filled bubble instead instead of a water filled bell. Jellyfish are almost all water and a little protein. They look slimy and disgusting when they wash up on the beach. This is a moon jellyfish. This is a west coast sea nettle. In the sea, jellyfish are beautiful. They are jellyfish as big as basketballs with long red tentacles called west coast sea nettles. There are tiny elegant jellyfish that look like a blizzard of snowflakes. This is the Ocoplura labradorensis. Fact and opinion. What opinions does the author give? How does the author support those opinions? This is an Arctic lion's mane jellyfish. There are jellyfish that grow so big that they are as long as a blue whale. They are called Arctic lion's mane jellyfish. They pulse and drift. They eat and reproduce. They live and die, all without a brain or a heart. This is a golden mastigius jellyfish. Someday you might be very lucky and see an ocean full of jellyfish. And since you have a brain and a heart, you would know you are seeing something unforgettable. Author's purpose. What is the author's purpose for writing jellies? And how do you know? All right, I hope you enjoyed the story. So in this story, we're looking at a, a fact. So a fact is something that is true and it can be proven to be true. And also we're looking at an opinion. An opinion is the way someone feels about something. You cannot prove an opinion. Authors often give reasons to support their facts and opinions. So please in, um, continue on with the weekly lesson, and that is our story of the week.